We're now going to take a look at data types, specifically integer, string, floating point or real, and Boolean data types. So data types are different formats data can be recognized as by a system. In using different data types, it enables the system to react to data in different ways, such as using an integer data type for data that is expected to be calculated. Below is an outline of if different data types that can be assigned. So an integer, which is used to assign whole number of values. String, used for combining multiple characters together. This may include numbers, but they're not recognized as numeric. Floating point or real, which is assigned to numerical values, enabling them to be stored as fractions and displayed as decimals. And finally, Boolean, which is assigning a value to data, which can only be in one of two states, so like on or off. The reasons for using different data types include consistency. Using a specific data type will ensure that data is always presented in the same format. File size. The use of specific data types have the capacity to greatly reduce the file size due to applying limitations on expected data through how the system recognizes the data. Data validation. Applying specific data type will enable a program to recognize errors and potentially not accept data from the incorrect data type. For example, if a letter is entered into an integer field, um, in most cases this can sometimes cause a program to crash because obviously a, a letter can't be calculated. But if it says, no, it's only got to be a number and it recognizes that it's not a number going in, validation tools could enable the user uh, not to be allowed to enter in that data. And finally, the manipulation of data. Certain data types allow for data to be manipulated in different ways, such as formulas applied to integers that will uh, round them to whole numbers, whereas a floating point or real number will display them as decimal values. Okay, so basically we've got to make a choice here of whether we want to use a floating point and have the decimal values, or no, we just want to keep it at that basically we have whole numbers. So what we do with the data and how it's presented to us basically changes based on the data type we use. So we'll have a quick look at examples of all these data types. So firstly with integer, we can see that we have single integers on their own, but we can also obviously have more than one okay, next to each other, making larger numbers, so 12, 100. We can have negative numbers and obviously longer numbers. Okay, so it's all basically numbers, okay, both positive and negative. For strings, okay, it can be strings of characters. They can be lowercase or uppercase. They can be used in combination with each other and as with numbers. Okay, we can make our words with strings, and these words can obviously be put together to make sentences. Okay, and they are all classified as string data type. With floating point, we obviously have our fractional values presented as decimal. Okay, so you can start off with zero and have the fractional element after it. And as this last example points out, okay, we can go up to seven decimal spaces with a floating point a data type. Okay, and finally is our Boolean, where we, the data is in one of two states. So true, false, on or off, yes or no, or that could just be Y and N, okay, or M and F for like if it's a male or female kind of data type, okay, being used. Okay, so basically that really simplifies data and really validates what users can put in. They can only put in one answer or the other. They can't really enter anything else. Okay, so that's just an example of a variety of different uses of each of these data types. And finally, is just the limitations of these particular data types. So firstly, for integer, they cannot display fractional values. And in most software, values range from negative 2 billion, 1 million, 470,000, okay, 483 and 648 to the same in negative. Okay, so basically, it's quite a large range of uh, integers, but still it has its limitations. And it takes up four bytes in memory. A string, numbers may be used, but they are not recognized as numeric. Each value within a string is usually limited to 255 possible characters. And this is obviously based on 8-bit binary, where with 8-bit binary, the largest value we can have is 255. And usually then it's converted into a specific character based on ASCII or EBCDIC charts. A floating point can only store up to seven decimal spaces. If more decimal spaces are required, okay, a double data type may be used. This can store up to 15 decimal spaces that requires twice as much storage space, and in this case, it's eight bytes for a double. 
and then finally is a boolean and basically data can only be stored in one of two states so i hope this gives you a better understanding of the limitations of a basic uh, particular data types and data types in general basically how we use different data types to let the program know essentially what we're going to be kind of doing with data and it allows us then to present it in a certain way manipulate it in a certain way as well as uh, validate the data once it is entered into the system